Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we are going to do something very exciting. We are going to take the Mahindra Scorpio Z8L automatic on a 400 km road trip and this is going to be very exciting. So I am going to reset the entire uh, odometer for you guys to see the exact average. Uh, currently it is at about 10.2. Uh, which is which involves some city driving and some highway driving. I think the average has been pretty good so far. Uh, this car has driven about thousand kilometers, so a little more than thousand kilometers. So it's going to be particularly uh, exciting, and also that it's going to go for its first service now. Uh, we'll also talk about how the car feels, how the car drives. Uh, I've also uh, put in uh, buffers, so that can give you a good idea of. Uh, how the car will feel with buffers, without buffers, all of that. So it's going to be very exciting. So let's unlock the car and uh, let's get into the car, reset the trip and then we can do an exact mileage count of the car. And while we are at it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon and like the video. Comment below. As I said, if you have any queries, I will answer to all of them. And uh, now let's get to the video. So the fuel is almost full. I will just uh, do a, a top up for that little bit of uh, fuel so that you can see the entire uh, fuel efficiency. Currently, if you see the range is 526 kilometers, the average is about 10.5. For a diesel automatic, this is really good. Now, one thing which we need to focus on is that this has got drive mode. So uh, it has got zip, zap and zoom. Uh, so we will be driving on zap. I will also try and put it on zoom in some parts of it. But what I have observed is that zoom always eats a lot of fuel. So that is something which you need to consider while doing a road trip with this car. So uh, 400 kilometers. Uh, it is a brand new car so let's see how how it performs how it goes and uh, we will talk through it uh, the route which we are going to take is going to be from here which is Aurangabad so I'll show you so from Aurangabad right up to Mumbai so this is the route which we are going to take and um, It is going to be exciting. Uh, there is already some traffic showing over here, which is uh, as you enter almost Mumbai. So yes, that's there, but it is almost 339 kilometers and it's going to take me six hours. So um, let's see how, how it goes. Uh, let's, let's first go and fill that fuel and uh, get the odometer to zero. If I, if I see currently uh, it is It has driven only 84.2 kilometers and uh, but let's let's uh, let's let's go and fill up the fuel and I will reset the odometer. So I'm on my way to uh, fill the fuel. We'll we'll try and keep the total uh, speed to around uh, 100, 120. I will be using the cruise mode as well. So uh, that will that will also give a good idea. I have I have turned on automatic start stop. But I'm sure in this entire, uh, you know, a trip, it will not be much of a uh, difference because it's going to be a highway drive totally. But let's see. So we are at the petrol pump and uh, we are going to fill a complete thousand liter, sorry, a complete uh, full tank uh, so that uh, you get a good perspective of what is going on. And it's going to be not much because uh, my tank is almost full. But let's see. So it's going to be, uh, I think, not more than five ten liter. But uh, let's see where it goes. And while uh, this is filling, so. The car is uh, seeming pretty good so far. Was? Was. So about 11.14 uh, liters, which has gone in fuel. 
ओके सो नाउ द फ्यूल इज फुल एंड आई विल जस्ट रीसेट दिस सो आई जस्ट शो यू ट्रिप बी ऑल्सो इट इज एक्जैक्टली वन जीरो टू टू पॉइंट फोर दिस इज द एंटायर रन कार एंड एज यू कैन सी इट इज वन जीरो टू टू नाउ लेट मी रीसेट दिस सो या दिस इज जीरो जीरो एंड नाउ वी हैव टू डू अ फ्यू थिंग्स बिफोर वी गेट ऑन द ड्राइव so it's going to be uh, uh, a good exciting road we have to stop for about uh, i think uh, one or two hours so not too many stops uh, and as you can see i'm almost off roading but uh, uh, it is pretty comfortable no challenges with this car at all so yeah uh, pretty good there and i like how uh, the front sensor comes into action as soon as you know it sees Uh, lesser space so that is pretty good so now uh, we are going to start the road trip and uh, i will keep you posted about all the various things happening and uh, we will do a little bit of check ins here and there so to give a perspective uh, we are going to take the uh, nagpur mumbai express way which is a 180 km long highway it's a six lane highway and it's also called uh, the samriddhi uh, mahamarg which is uh, which is a pretty interesting road extremely straight roads and uh, the speed limit on this road is 120 uh, so we are going to keep it uh, between 100 to 120 maybe 115 is a idle speed which uh, we can do on this highway and uh, it doesn't it's it's not it's not too expensive as well uh, the tolls are not that expensive so this road is going to be very interesting we'll also cut through uh, uh, in between to pune after say about 100 uh, kilometers and then uh, from there go to uh, uh, the pune mumbai expressway then to the atal uh, setu which will then get us to mumbai so it is going to be a good uh, 450 ish kilometers drive and uh, now let's begin also uh, we are going to use uh, cruise control over here as i said earlier so i have put the car in cruise control and uh, the cruise control gives a slight trouble uh, every now and then uh, that you have to you have to put the engine off and on to enable the cruise control so sometimes here and there there will be an issue uh which pops up i will raise this with mahindra as well but uh, just to uh, say it out loud that there is a slight trouble with the cruise control as well so there you could see a steady 117 kilometers an hour we will also take this to 150 let's try that so that's 150 uh, don't try this on normal highways this was properly seen and no vehicles in the front as well so we've driven about 130 kilometers and uh, the average speed is about 91 kilometers if i talk about the average it's 11.4 which is very good uh, this is on cruise control about 115 kilometers an hour straight road and uh, the range is 624 kilometers so after about 140 ish kilometers uh, there was a turn which is the pune exit uh, i have taken that as i uh, said earlier and uh, from here we will uh, go to the mumbai expressway after stopping a little bit and then from there the atal setu which is going to be exciting because that's a new road but again all the uh, highways have almost 100 kilometers as the speed limit so now uh, the car has almost run uh, more than 200 kilometers 
so that is uh, a good amount of uh, distance which i can tell you uh, about what exactly um, i mean how the car is and uh, how are the how are things how is the ride and everything so 235.8 is what uh, i have run in about 2 hours 50 minutes so the roads were not that good uh, to be frank but there is a lot of uh, bumpiness in the ride so there is slight body roll and i am not going to lie uh, but because of the buffers uh, they really really become very nice uh, the ride becomes much much more better uh, also that the back seats uh, they recline so that is a very good feature to have and you can easily you know uh, recline the seats and drive with with a lot of comfort on the front seats it is pretty good um, no problems i did feel the need of having uh, you know um, uh, ventilated seats because if you don't keep the ac too cold then it becomes an issue but otherwise uh, overall very good experience not a problem uh, but there are some minor tweaks uh the car speeds very well as you have seen uh, it go i took it to 150 no problems absolutely amazing performance uh the car is doing very very so well so i just want to highlight one one part of this now if i go into map okay there is a way where you can put the navigation on but if you have google maps on this is google maps is on but uh let the front sensor go it will only show apple maps over here so if i am to use google maps it does not work here and uh, i i will speak to mahindra in my service because they have updated the software to the newest one but it still does not show here so you need android auto for this to come here if you are using carplay this map will not come here you will have to rely on this uh, the good part is that yes you know uh, you have nothing else to do maybe some song and uh, uh the map but yeah apart from that uh it's it's seamless so map has to be on this screen not on this screen now i'm going to try out zoom mode for a couple of kilometers and give you the feedback so i put in zoom mode and there goes the zoom mode because there is a lot of traffic going on but uh i had to again switch it back to zap so we've crossed 412.5 kilometers and the average speed has been 60 kilometers total drive has been 6 hours 50 minutes and the average is at 11.8 which is uh, very good uh, 334 kilometers is the range and i'll be shortly getting on the atal situ it is almost uh, sunset now but uh, yeah it's been a good drive so far
ओके सो वी रीच आर डेस्टिनेशन एंड द एवरेज इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन नाउ Uh, it was 12.2, but uh, I I kept the car on a little bit, so it dropped to 12.1. Uh, overall, uh, the odometer is showing 1469. If you remember, it was around uh, 1020 uh, approximately, uh, and we have driven uh, almost 450 kilometers, which is which is good. And uh, now let's look at the values. So well. here we are. It's saying 248 kilometers range, 12.1. You can assume it to be 12.2. I'm fine with it. This is before the first service. Again, uh, I even tried different modes, so zip, zap, and zoom. Um, majorly driven on zap, and a little bit of cruise control as well. So now let's look at uh, the drive info, and here you will see seven uh, hours thirty minutes total driven, four hundred forty-seven kilometers. So yeah, almost four fifty, and fifty-nine um, kilometers has been average, and this you see fourteen sixty-nine. So overall really good stuff uh the car has been absolutely amazing uh this is with ac uh, on auto overall the drive was pretty good uh it has been really really interesting uh, to drive this car around um as i had said earlier that it has been a little bumpy but apart from that um uh, it has been a very very good experience and overall i think uh, i would highly recommend this car without any qualms uh, but if you are if you want a soft ride then it is slightly difficult uh, but in this particular setup it is uh, absolutely a good good car to have so now we'll see how much uh, fuel uh, is uh, filled in the car and then we'll calculate the average so overall if we see we are at 1472 kilometers and uh, the range is going up let me go to drive in four so here you see 449.6 kilometers uh, 58 kmph and uh, drive time is 7 hours 43 minutes and if i look at the average it is showing me 12 kmph rapidly going up you can see the fuel also going up with what happening so as i say fc mahindra car car sa chama xc mahindra sa car number 35.9 so totally uh, the range is now showing 732 i filled it to auto cut and uh, earlier also i had filled it to auto cut only now let me go into drive info and 449 let's open the calculator 449.6 449.6 divided by 35 0.90 gives me a 12.52 average uh here it is showing slightly lesser but that's fine here it is showing me a 12.52 average which i think is excellent for this car uh it has given me a very good average and uh, i'm pretty happy with this average overall uh, the range is 737 which is absolutely crazy on a single tank of 57 liters so yeah uh good stuff over here for the scorpio n so that's all from the video uh do let me know down in the comment section if you have any queries with regards to this and as usual thanks for watching